and here in Australia, like the Captain Cook statue in Sydney, which often every single Australia Day now ends up the target of vandals. Or, of course, the Captain Cook statue in Melbourne, which is also the target of vandals. Then there is, of course, the debate about whether or not there are too many male or female statues in Melbourne. Well, there is finally a statue we can all agree on, and it is in country Victoria. It is this image of Sandy. Sandy was a horse that was sent to World War I an eight-year-old gelding that was donated by a local family to the war effort. Ross Smith was one of many who were there on the weekend for the unveiling of the statue, but also raising money for the statue over many months and now years. Sandy stands for all of those who made sacrifices for the thousands of horses that went to war and never came back. Now, with some images that I'm going to show you here of the Australian War Memorial... The number of animals that Australia ended up sending or using in war is, of course, a huge number. But what about this, just about horses alone and World War I? It's why this statue has now been put inside country Victoria. Australia shipped 120,000 horses overseas during World War I. 81,000 of them went to India, 39,000 served with the AIF, mostly in Egypt and Palestine, with the Australian Light Horse. The AIF horses then travelled by ship with the men. It took about six weeks for the horses to get from Australia to Egypt or to England, and, of course, many horses died along the way. The AIF sent more than 6,000 horses to the Gallipoli campaign in 1915, but most were returned to Egypt. The rugged hills and gullies of Gallipoli's peninsula were more suitable for donkeys. But what was interesting about one of the reasons why Sandy the horse is getting a statue is because of the cost of war for the animals that have even less choice of whether they are involved in it than humans. There is a really interesting section on the War Memorial's website about animals at war. It's about camels, it's about uh, donkeys, it's about you name it and how they have been used and sadly passed away But it's worth having a look at in the next little while. But what an incredible number there about the number of horses. Now, think about Australia. Think about, what, 1914, how many horses we had at all. Well, we sent 120,000 horses between uh, 14 and 17 in the First World War. And I'm glad that Sandy is now a monument that you can see in regional Victoria. Speaking of regional Victoria, don't forget we're going to be in Shepparton this Sunday night. If you would like to join us, it is our town at skynews.com.au. Our town at skynews.com.au. You've got a big room and we want as many hardcore viewers there as possible.